just by people seeing me out there. It's part of the uh, and, 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 and being able to visualize in their mind, in, on their vision board, that it is possible to be a president. There's a quote that says that knowledge is of no value unless put into practice. Well, I went to the, the Kenya High School, the Kenya High School, um, uh, enjoyed my time there, uh, enjoyed very much my art uh, classes because I was uh, very creative and I enjoyed um, that uh, chance at the, at, in high school to be able ex to explore that. And then I went to Jacob Jomo Kenyatta, University of Agriculture and Technology, very different uh, background and uh, setting from what I was used to because we were less than 10% women in the whole campus because it was a technology campus and it was a very interesting culture shock for me. But I think it has helped to shape me and uh, cushion me as I went out into the world of built environment. So I'm very happy about that. And I studied architecture, if it's not obvious. The AK is a 50-year-old organization. Um, it has had a series of presidents, 20-something, and I'm the first female president. What it means is, first of all, you're in charge of a whole myriad of professionals uh, in, in built environment. Architects, engineers, quantity surveyors, landscape architects, people who are really shaping what everybody experiences in the city. Shaping the buildings, shaping the roads, planning for them. So it's a very impactful uh, position and I do not take it for granted. And I also do not take it for granted that I'm the first female president and that um, the members of the association and um, uh, built environment at large were able to embrace me and, 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 and give a woman this platform because uh, as, as you know, women really must be part of the conversation. <laughs> Part of the reason I went for this position is because uh, you cannot underestimate the value of role modeling. Just by people seeing me out there, it's part of the uh, and, 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 and being able to visualize in their mind, in, on their vision board, that it is possible to be a president. Not only a president of an association, but maybe the, a president of a country. They just need to see it sometimes so that they can believe it. So very, very important. What's We've worked on very many projects. Yes. Uh, currently, we're working on uh, an administration center for the Jesuits of Africa. And we're also working on a 22-story tower in uh, up, uh, uh, Upper Hill near Nairobi Hospital. I have rebranded the AK. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, we were 50 years old, it was about time we had a new uh, face, and we have rebranded the AK. We have also taken on advocacy very seriously, mm -hmm. and uh, through that we've had a lot of initiatives in terms of engaging government, uh, so that we see an impact really in not only, uh, as it were, our members and profiting our members, mm -hmm. but profiting the entire country in terms of built environment. So we've uh, engaged government and we have something that we call the Kenya We Is Want. It? I think we need to, uh, as a city, um, to embrace, uh, not even as a city, as a country, planning and planning for our cities a bit better. I think we have started almost uh, uh, ad hoc uh, uh, cities that just develop by their own. There needs to be more deliberate thought into that, more deliberate thought in the infrastructure, uh, ensuring that people are able to not only I see a lot of investment in roads and the like, but uh, I would hope for a city to be efficient and sustainable, that we'd see a better transport infrastructure uh, for even pedestrians, cyclists, um, and, 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 and an alternative means of, uh, of, of commuting. So in terms of built environment, I would love us as a country to, to, to have even more green spaces. I think, I have, as, a, as you may be aware, that we need more green spaces. We need spaces for our children to play. <laughs> People are not used to seeing a, a woman, but that is even changing. Now I see even very many Njengo ladies, as it were, doing the actual hard work, and that has changing slowly. So already in terms of people are not used to seeing a, a female face on, on a Njengo site, that has been uh, something that people have had to adjust themselves to. It's not the f uh, I've been called Buana architect very many times, but it's something that people are learning to change. And I think uh, the mindset, people are, are willing, people are not malicious, I would say. I have not, uh, very few people have, have I found who are malicious and really do not believe that you can do it. Some of it may be subconscious sometimes, mm -hmm. but really openly, mm -hmm. I have not come across that. And, and uh, part of what I champion is to change people's mindset and show them that women can do just as well, if not better than men. In every 
situation there's an opportunity and the fact that it's male dominated and you we are very few women it means we can stand out and you uh, rightly put it that way that it's easy for people to notice you and then using that platform to either become uh, then the president of the association or using that platform for people to listen because maybe because you're the only woman in the room talking they'll they, they'll notice you and using that to then speak loudly and speak on issues. Mm -hmm.